My name is Susie Hosterman and I'm an artist. I create paintings and oil pastel drawings of what I call swirls and stuff. It's like art therapy for me. I find it very therapeutic to draw swirls and lots of color, especially here in Erie. Whenever the winter is happening, I usually try to fill my life with vibrancy. Sounds colorful. <laughs> what services do you offer? I offer a lot of marketing services. I got involved in this event because I put together the flyer and on top of that, whenever I met all the women, I wanted to just keep giving. I love the fact that they're getting together so many people in these healing modalities that you wouldn't really get to see elsewhere all together like this. And so I just wanted to give back because I really appreciate the services that they offer too. What kinds of people may benefit from these services? Anyone and everyone. Everyone needs some like color in their lives. So just hang a painting on the wall or paint directly on the wall. I fully support that. <laughs> At the event, I'm going to be selling artwork. It's kind of in the rest area. So while people are walking around to their different sessions, like one of their three sessions, they can come and chill out in the room and just look at art, have some snacks. I'm also going to be having some community projects there, so people will be able to get hands-on and create their own art. What do you find unique about this event? I have shown at a few gallery nights, but I've never actually shown and sold art, kind of like a vendor at an event. So this is actually my first time ever. And getting to show my art in this historic building at the Women's Club of Erie, it's so pretty. It kind of it kind of reminds me of my studio here, all the woodwork, only they have pretty wallpaper and I just have white everywhere so that I can focus on my art. Usually when people get to see these kind of experts like with sound healing, energy assessments, aromatherapy, there are usually a ton of people involved and you just walk around to them. Whereas this is, it's like a private event party, but it's healing and calm all together. And it's all in this like little magical castle kind of place, a women's club. It just seems kind of magical. So yeah, <laughs> I think because it's magical. <laughs> oh, you love magic. I do. <laughs> you see my wand over there? See, here's my wand. If people want to contact me, they can go to my website, which is suzyhosterman.com. I'm also involved in the Coffee Club Divas. I have a Facebook page. I have it. I have three Instagrams, actually. Or, you know, just come to the event. <laughs> come support us all. Come check out my new paintings. And I also have some rocks that I've painted, too, with, like, really inspiring messages. So I'm excited to share those. People should sign up for this event to come support this idea because I, I, I feel like it's really important to have in Erie because many of us go through the winters and there's so much cloud coverage that we get kind of murky and depressed. If not depressed, we kind of feel a little bit drained or run down and this is a perfect time to really embrace healing. So I, I would say that's why people should definitely register. And they can do that by calling Marge or Darcy. The event is on Saturday this Saturday, 1 to 4 p.m., and it costs $35, and you get three sessions, and you get as much time as you want with me <laughs> to just come and talk. Yeah. So, thank you, and I hope you guys come and visit me <laughs> and the others. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, let's go this way. So right here I have my oil pastel drawings that I'm getting ready to frame and just all these. I like this one. This is really funny actually. It says, please be imperfect. And then I misspelled it as I was making it, which was kind of perfect. So then I was like, whoops. I like to experiment with different kinds of papers. <laughs> when I worked retail, I used some receipt paper when I would get bored and I would just draw little doodles. Bride with three bridesmaids. The fact that I made it like abstract whenever I painted it makes me really happy. This, <laughs> I've started experimenting with home decor and I painted a lamp. So this is my painted lamp. These are a few of the rocks that I painted that I'm excited to show. I like the bright colors. 
everything. So this is my studio. Um, photography stuff. Photography stuff. So then here, we've got all my music stuff. This is kind of the chaos, I think, of an artist is this is the stuff that needs framed. This whole pile of stuff, it looks like I'm not that organized, but I swear I am. This is a work in progress. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see if we can do this. <sighs> this was one of my first oil pastel drawings. I made this when I was 15, and it was the first time I realized that I like abstract weird stuff, and also color. <sighs> and I'm, I'm alive. Uh, this was one of the first abstract large paintings that I had ever made. I made it back in 2012 on the floor of my very tiny apartment. And it's one of my favorites because I painted it on cardboard that was huge that I found in a giant dumpster. So recycling. Oy. See, here's my wand I was telling you about. I love vintage clothing, so that's what this is. This is something I made in college, and I just had it framed. It was one of my first abstractions. Oof. Somewhere I have the sketches for it. Here's one that I hope to have. I'm in the process of framing it. Swirls. <laughs> and one last thing I should share. So these are three rock photographs. This one is called Diversity. And so it shows two rocks that are different looking. And I'm gonna be selling prints of these. And actually these prints inspired the flyer. This one is called Growth and Support. <laughs> I actually have those rocks over there too. They're just little buds. Discovering your energetic health. Meet the practitioners. Register today.